Yo bro, this is Louis aka the Tinder God and I heard you are interested in Tinder hookup lines. Something I often see with guys is that they have really lengthy conversations back and forth but there's no flirting to be seen, there's no sexuality, there's nothing that even leads to a hookup. Maybe you're having a really good conversation with her and it keeps flowing but there's nothing sexual there and you really do see her as a potential hookup but you just don't know when to transition into that more intense showing sexual conversation and I know the longer you wait to make this move the harder it gets <laughs> so in this video I'm gonna give you five tips to get to work with those tinder hookup lines plus a couple of mwah, juicy screenshots Backwards. tip number one I just told you that many guys have really lengthy conversations but the sexuality just is nowhere to be seen it keeps going on and on on a friendly basis but the opposite is also true. There's many guys that go for the sexuality way too early, straight from the bed, like, hey, uh, let's f or whatever, and they're just super mega creeps. Now, maybe you've seen my video where I make two different profiles, one of an asshole and one of a gentleman, and we see who gets best results on Tinder. What you didn't see is that at the end of the video, we texted all our matches, hey, let's bang, or hey, wanna bang. We did it on the asshole profile and on the gentleman profile and I'm gonna show you one of the screenshots that resulted from this experiment. Hello, hot stuff. You're cute, let's bang. No, this is the part where you put effort into wooing me. I'm not a delivery prostitute. For the love of God, work a little for this pussy. I know in this screenshot it's still quite on, she was super eager from the start but this cluster bomb, copy paste, suicide kind of text is not the go-to way. As she explained very poetically, the start of the conversation is where you are supposed to be wooing her, you are supposed to show that you are a man worthy of sex with her. You can't just go around being a mega creep like, hey let's f so this approach might work with some girls that are really invested in you already but in general this is really not the way to go to and this won't lend you that quality woman that you actually want to be with. Um, just so you don't have to get in trouble, I already tested it for you, we sent it out 100, 200 times and it did work a few times but not worth trying plus you'll get in trouble with Tinder. Trust me. Tip two, a better way to go about this. A student of mine was really proud of his conversation with a girl, so he sent me a screenshot and I see where he's coming from. He has reason to be proud. This is what he sent me. Hi there, what are you doing in Bangkok? Oh, just exploring my suppressed gay feelings with ladyboys. You? That's hot. I hope you like regular ladies too. I do. Maybe you can hold my hand when I lose my virginity to a ladyboy. It will make it less gay. I'm so honored. I see why he's sending me this with pride. He's not doing really bad, to be honest. And the reason for this is that he's following some simple steps provided in my over-the-top text game workshop. These simple steps make it really easy to get a fun vibe going and make your conversation effortlessly sexual every time. Excuse me? What's that? Oh, you want to sit comfortably in your sofa with a nice snack or a drink while taking part in this online workshop from home? Well, that's actually possible. There's a link down below the video that will take you straight to the workshop. Tip number three. Don't be a bad poker player. You want to be a good poker player. Maybe you've ever played a game of poker and if you just look to your right, the guy was playing so sloppily that you could see his hand, you could see his cards and it ruins the whole game. Now you know exactly what he has and exactly what he's hoping to get. Well, what you want to do is you want to keep your hand to yourself, you want her to invest a little bit, you call, maybe you raise, she calls again, this goes on for a couple rounds and when the time is right, you reveal your hand. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I do this? And one easy way to do this is by using my clickbait principle. I made a separate video about this that gives you three easy steps to apply this. You can find it in the link down below the video. Tip number four. Just put it in and then pretend like nothing happened. Well, what do I mean with this? This is actually a great tip if you want to sexualize your conversations on your way to a Tinder hookup. Let's look at a screenshot. Hi, Louis. Dag, madame. Now, dag madam just means hi madam, this is what the language people in Belgium use, it's called Dutch, <laughs> crazy right? Okay, she goes, what is a hot nerd like you looking for on Tinder? Now, this is 
a way to get opened all the time. I had such a great bio about me being a nerd. Now, if you want to have some free bios, check out my other blog posts. I, I often give out some really great bios. This one is a little bit too powerful. You can find it in one of my courses. What is a nerd like you looking for on Tinder? And this is where I use the tip. This is where I just put it in and then pretend like nothing happened. I go, small boobs with cute nipples. Oh, and a great authentic personality, of course. So she asks me what I'm doing on Tinder and I say the whole small nipple stuff, but I say it with the abundance mentality where you don't even care if the conversation goes south. And now here's the thing, when you're gonna go sexual like that, don't do it without style. Why don't you add a joke to it so it becomes light and humorous? Like, oh yeah, and a great authentic personality, of course. And that's exactly what I want you to do. I want you to never just start talking about sex when no one asks about it, no one asks for it, because you'll turn into a massive creep really fast. It's like it just accidentally, in a humorous way, slipped into the conversation and then you go on with the rest of the normal conversation. Tip number five, steal this line from this lady. But first, <laughs> look at these silly kids playing real life games instead of tindering. <laughs> How are they gonna get their dick wet tonight? <laughs> anyway, in the conversation with the last girl that you see on your screen again here, uh, what is a hot blah, 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 blah. Small bobs and tiny nipoles. Oh, and a great authentic personality, of course. And she says, geez, you sound like you've seen me naked before. When you describe what your ideal body looks like and the other person says, well, I pretty much got exactly that, what this girl did with her clever line, then you are going to get excited, bro. And this reminds me of something. Oftentimes on Tinder, when I ask women to describe their ideal man personality-wise, I'll reply with something like, hey, did you cheat? Did you just look up my biography? And this may sound cheesy, but it's actually a really playful way to reassure them that you are what they're looking for. And it's much better than to tell them something like, oh, for example, right, she says, I want a man that's ambitious and funny and something else. You could be like, oh, that's really, that's me. Like, oh my God, last Friday I told this joke and at least uh, six people were laughing. And tomorrow, by the way, I got a business meeting. Uh, oh, it's such an important business meeting. I am so ambitious. Oh my. Trust me, I, I am the type of guy you like. I, I prom You never want to try so hard, so why don't you just do it in a playful way with the line, my biography line, or this girl that says, geez, you sound like you've seen me naked. Actually have way more Tinder hookup lines, tips and tricks, including screenshots. You can find them in the article below because I gotta go. <laughs> Sorry, I'll never do that again. Please like this video and subscribe because if you don't, I'll pay a shaman to cast a curse on your sex life and you'll never get your penis up again. Like, ser like seriously, you'll never have a boner again. Why risk it when you can just press one button, the, the subscribe button, and you'll be fine.